But the David Pakman interview, uh, I, I want to use this as an illustration of how the left deals with facts and truth. They, they deal very little with facts and truth. So I'm going to use this as an illustration. This whole thing with David Pakman, Mr. Gallops. <laughs> you know, we put that, we put that, uh, we put that audio up on uh, up on PP Simmons. Right. I didn't. I didn't do that. One of our. One of our. Uh, one of our, our. Our people did that. Right. And uh, put it up on the PP Simmons channel. Well, guess who gets all that mail? <laughs> yeah, you. You do. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I mean, I am being attacked, Carl, by some of the most foul people. I know. You could possibly imagine. They're the liberal, anti-Christian, atheist crowd. I know. Oh, I know. The language. Well, the and, language. Well, what they're upset about. I know what they're upset about. Is Pacman asked me a question that he didn't think I could answer. Not only did I answer it, but it's indisputable and irrefutable. So in the middle of it, Pacman then changed the rules for the question, and uh, and I think his followers are pretty furious that he allowed me to get all that good stuff out there. Yeah, well, they may have handed us a gold nugget here, and I'll tell you why. I've been looking for an opportunity to come against the uh, the uh, circular reasoning accusation that's been placed against you and me. You know, and others. Yeah. Uh, and this, uh, this whole, this, the question was, was, was surrounding, um, you know, prove to us using outside sources that the Bible is valid, right? right. That the Bible is trustworthy. Right. That was, the, that was the essence of the question. Right. And I heard your interview, and you, you were going in the proper direction. You were saying, okay, the Bible says this. Oh, well, you can't bring the Bible into it. Well, excuse me. You asked me to validate the Bible. Right. So we have to bring the Bible into it first. You have to start there to to prove whether the Bible is accurate start or not, there, right? And you were going, you were going in the right direction, and I think that uh, you and I need to t- you need to bring this to its proper conclusion here and, and put this thing to bed when it comes to circular reasoning. Yeah, because the 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 um, the whole thing with circular reasoning that is an accusation that has been that there's a label that's been put on us by people who don't understand what circular reasoning even is. They don't even understand didactic right? reasoning. Yeah, yeah. But go ahead. Well, if you, if I was, here's, here's the essence of my take on it. If I, if, if I was at the Starbucks in Pensacola down there and I ordered a, a, uh, a grande mocha frappuccino with caramel sprinkles on it, and you walked in and ordered a, a tall Americano with a little bit of room for cream and sweetener, Mm-hmm. And we we have never met. We run into each other, and I say, "Hey, how you doing?" And you say, "Hey, hey, how you doing?" And I say, "And I say, well, well let's you know, let's sit down and have a coffee together here. There's no room. There's only one table. Let's just sit down here." And you and we start talking, and you say, well, "What do you do uh, for a living, uh, uh, sir?" And I say, "Well, I'm a I'm a, a doctor. I I, I specialize in, in fertility." And uh, you say, "Oh, well, that's nice. You don't look like a doctor. You kind of look more like a truck driver than a doctor." <laughs> Hey, I say, well, okay, well, just keep your eye on the news, because I have, I have an interview coming up tonight in the news. So just keep your eye on the news tonight, the local news, and uh, I, it, you'll be, it'll be proven to you that I am, in fact, a doctor. So you turn on the evening news when you get home, and there's Mike Shusmet on the news giving an interview about fertility in front of his own clinic right. with his name on it, the Mike Shusmet Clinic for Fertility, right? right. I got you. And you go... And you go, okay, there it is, in the news, Mike Shoesmith in front of his clinic being interviewed as, a, as an expert fertility doctor. Right. There's my proof. I don't need to look any further. Right. Right? And that's exactly so what, what I did. What the essence, what, exactly. That's exactly what you've done in your book, The Magic Man in the Sky. That's what you've done in the, in the many videos that we've put up on, on the YouTube and, and, and all over the Internet, proving the existence of God. In the Bible, it says, this is how you'll know that I'm God, and this is how you'll know that the Word of God is true. The Bible is the Word of God. Right. And, and then it says, don't, you don't go to the book of James. You don't go to the book of Luke. You go to the news. That's right. So you, so you close your Bible, you turn on the evening news, and you see, the, folks, the you'll evidence. see that the evidence that the book of Deuteronomy, where God says, this is how you'll know that I'm God and that this book is my word to humanity, this is my basic instructions before leaving Earth. Right. This is how you will know that the Bible is my instructions to you. Put Close the Bible, turn on the news. You will see evidence of this every day. But, but, uh, but David Pakman, he didn't want to hear that. He, nope. He ran out the clock. On the he ran out the clock on the interview. This is what happened. But I he called ran him out on the it. clock on the interview. Yeah, but I called him on you it. You called him on it. Yep. You knew what he was doing. Yep. 
I told if him, I said, I've, I've been it, doing this for years. I, I'm a radio host, too. I know what you're doing. <laughs> he didn't like that. It's a fascinating interview, and it's a fascinating, uh, uh, I don't know, a discovery, I guess, of, of how these people work. He ran out the clock so that you wouldn't get to finish providing the evidence from the news that we see that the Bible is the Word of yeah. God, that, that Almighty God is real. We have the evidence in yeah. the news every day now. Yeah, but actually, so, actually, though, I did finish it, and he was just furious that I did. And then he tried to say that yeah. I didn't answer the question correctly. He said, well, I told you not to use the Bible. And I said, well, that's an illogical, that's an illogical question. You, you can't tell me to prove the Bible without mentioning the Bible. I mean, how can you do that? That's like saying prove that rocks exist, but, but don't ever use the word rock, don't point to a rock, don't even talk about rocks. Right, right. Well, circular reasoning, is, here's an example of circular reasoning. Uh, and I'm getting, this from, I'm getting this from the circular reasoning page on Wikipedia. It, here's an example. Uh, a is true because, because B is true. B is true because A is true. That's right. That's circular reasoning. Well, here's a good example of it, Mike. Okay, I've got a rock. It's three million years old. How do you know that? Right. Because I found it in this strata where everything in it is three million years old. And you say, well, how do you know that everything in it is three million years old? And I say, well, look at the that's rock the I rock. found. Look at the rock I found in it. <laughs> See, that's circular reasoning. Well, that's what perfect. I gave David Pakman wasn't even in the same category as circular reasoning. I gave him didactic reasoning. I started with the point A and went to point Z, just like he asked me to do. The problem was he didn't know what to do with what I presented him, and it freaked him out. Right, right, right. And the accusation is false. And you know what? They know it. Good. They are, they are furious. Good. <laughs> because I suggested, you know, perhaps they, that Carl Gallup should have dumbed down his answer so the imbeciles could understand it. Thank you. As Mike Shoesmith is here. And Mike, listen, let's take advantage of all the time we have. We've got a gentleman on the line uh, that wants to talk to you about circular reasoning. And that's where we were going. Mallory, did you just put him on? Okay, Laz, thank you so much for listening today. And you had a question for Mike about circular reasoning? Yeah, I was actually very interested in what you were talking about because I've dealt with atheists and agnostics before. And they use the same technique. You know, they tell you to explain the Bible, but they don't want you to use the Bible to prove what you're trying to prove. Right, which so is just an absolutely just, illogical, I mean, that's an illogical premise. I mean, exactly. again, that's like saying, prove to me that rocks exist, but don't mention the word rock, don't point to a rock, don't describe a rock, but prove to me that they exist. Well, that's completely illogical. Well, here's the thing that I've found when you're talking to these people, you just say the proof is in you. Even yeah. though you try to do good, you know you still do wicked things. Yeah, you're that's a good. sinner. That's Therefore, good. Life. You're proving that God is needed to save us. We can't save ourselves from our own sin. Right. That's good, Lass. And 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 that's true of all eight billion people on the face of the earth. Amen. Yeah, that's good. That's good, Mike. Do you have a comment for that, for Lass? Well, you know, circular reasoning. I cover this in my free book, "The Atheists Are Wrong." Circular reasoning is a is a is a, one of those uh, aspects of of logic and logical fallacies and and uh, argumentation theory that people learn in in, uh, in uh, you know when you go to college, or university to right. become a a lawyer. You learn all about this stuff, and yet whatever you. This is why I say no atheist has ever won a debate without borrowing from God. Right. Because you have to use logic. You have to use logic to even enter into a debate. Right. And logic, logic is transcendental. It's a tool given to us by Almighty God. Right. It doesn't depend on evolution. Logic existed. It doesn't matter how far back you go in 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 uh, in, in history. Right. Logic was there, and it's constant. Right. And and many so, uh, many many living things are incapable of logic. I mean, very very few living things are even capable of of uh, developing a logistical analysis of, of of something. Yeah, well, humanity was able to to develop the laws of logic, right? Uh, so that we could so that we could properly understand it. But logic is universally applicable, right? You can leave the planet, you can leave the planet, and go anywhere in the universe. Logic will be there, right? Because guess what? God created the universe. Well, there is no God. So logic has to be a natural uh, a product of evolutionary time and chance. Right. Well, that's, that is circular reasoning. Right. God is not real because there is no God. Right. That is, that is circular <laughs> reasoning, folks.